All right, we're going over here to Home Depot. I am not sponsored, but we're going to go over here to get this edging, what they call a bullnose, which is actually basically a round over. And um, we're going to finish up this custom accessory shelf niche. So, let's do this. All right, here we are. We're going to go in here and uh, get some of this edging. They call bullnose. It's not bullnose. Not really. But uh, let's see what they've got to choose from. It will look nice on the floors or the walls. And uh, Let's see something else. All right. That would look cool on the floors or walls. That's flat. It's been cut. I believe that's man-made rock. Look like rock. Now this is. They don't call this. Uh, they call them this chair rail. This is more like a bullnose. Okay, that would be like a true bullnose right there. All right, but it's they call it chair rail. All right, and that way you have a better idea when I'm talking about bullnose, what bullnose should look like. And this is a quarter round, which represents a bullnose. Okay, quarter round for corners. For example, it would go on your corner of your shelf, like this here, all right, on the corners for the detailing. If you're not making it, that is. All right. All right. Let's see here. No. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, look. They call this bull nose. All right. This is why I say this is not bull nose. I just showed you what bull nose is. There's no bull nose here. All right. But they call it that. I mean, it's got a slight angle on the edge, and they're calling that a bullnose, not a true bullnose. All right. Now, what I'm actually here to pick up is right here, and they're not even calling this a bullnose, actually. I'll show you what it is. All right. This is what I'm purchasing. That's the price. And I'm getting this. No, I'm not getting that. Wrong one. Oh, they can't be out of it. They can't be out of it. Uh looks like they're out of the stuff I was using. Um, let's see here. No way. Uh, we've got to have some here. Oh, it's down here at the bottom, really? All right, let's see here. Okay, now this is what I'm been getting. This is what they're calling bullnose. All right, but they're actually on this particular brand, they're not calling it bullnose, so that's good. It kind of resembles it at this point, but you see, it just rounds over. All right, and it gives it a nice finished edge. Okay, see, it really has gives the edge a nice finish. All right, but not bullnose and they're not calling it bullnose so that's good but this is what i'm using right here 
Okay. And here it is. Here's a stack of it here. Right, I pulled some out, and I'm getting these right here. I'm actually going to get five of them. That's one, two, three, four, five. All right, this other one must have been a mistake where it doesn't belong here. Somebody put it where it doesn't belong. So, okay, let's get this job finished up. This custom accessory shelf niche. And again, there's your edging, all right, your face. And this would represent your bullnose, all right? And that's what it looks like, okay? And uh, this is the again, chair rail, that they're calling it, 146. Okay, or you can have this more plain Jane here. All right, and it goes over and meets your tile. All right. So this would dictate what goes on top. All right, and that's 88 cents. Okay. There we have it. Let's get this show on the road. What am I going to do with this? That's the question.
Well, this actually wasn't necessary, okay? We're going to put this, this is the round over. It's going to go to this front of this edge here, but we're cutting it backwards. Okay, so we're putting the round over against the wall, okay? Because then we're going to flip it, it's going to go right into place, okay? I'm going to darken that up just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go cut. Okay, now I'm going to take this pencil line right here and line it up with the edge. And this is a piece, this is the side I'm keeping, this is the round over. So you want to cut to the back side to that, of that line, okay? And this is the first thing you do because this runs at a slight angle. Alright, so I'm going to get this right here, okay, up against the blade. Then I'm going to pivot and side in to my sight down here that I've shown in my other previous videos. All right. And it looks like that's at a pretty good angle. Now, the thing I can do to hold it in its place, all right, I've got a slight, here we go. So you can just use, this will make a nice wedge, all right. I'm going to slip right back here to hold it at that, in that spot, so it don't move. Alright, just slide that in there to where it's snug. Okay, sight that in. We're looking good there. And we're looking good there. Alright. Looks good. I believe that's going to be a perfect cut. I wish you could have seen that. That pencil edge should still, pencil line should still be on there just barely. And it is. Right there. Let's go check it. Okay, we have a, what's called a belly right here. And it goes from this point to this point. All right, so we line this up here and we rock it. All right, you can see where it, the high spot is. Okay, so all right, we bring this right where it's going to go. All right, so I'm going to mark it here on the side and we're going to mark it about right here on the side. Okay, then we're just going to take this pencil and scribe it at this point, right between these two points. Alright, then I gauge it here to know how far it is. Alright. Alright, so then I bring it here. And I check it out and I see if that's about the same and it is. Alright, so I'm just going to take this out from here 
to hear. Okay, I've made one cut. All right, it's up here. All right, and that's okay that way. All right, so now, here, all right. Now, I need to work it up here. And it's telling me that I gotta take a little bit more out Just taper it from this edge, this corner, down, around, to this point right here. Alright, to make our market. Okay, I'm just going to feather this out right here. Alright, let's go do this. Alright, we're going to feather it from this edge down slightly to this point. Okay. From this edge back. You want to keep this square and we're going to come at it at an angle, all right? And keep this square to the blade, straight with the blade. Now we're going to finish this with white silicone when we're done on the edge of the wall where this meets the wall. Which will hide these little imperfections in the edge. Should be good enough. All right. Okay, here we are. Teeter totter's gone. Solid. All right. Let's take it up close and personal as possible to that wall. Okay, we're gonna caulk that. That will get white caulking, and it'll be just fine. I'm going to use thin set, modified thin set with polymers. All right. Here I use silicone. All right, on the wood. I had to replace this. So I'll be redoing this here. And the silicone, I was able to take my razor knife and slice in here and loosen it up. I was able to take this, pop it loose. Okay. A wood chisel, then I will be replacing that. All right, silicone for this made it perfect. Otherwise, it would have been a problem, and I would have had to break it, and it would have just been a mess. But this is the only place I've used 100% silicone right here. All right. Okay, we will see you in part two where we're doing the grouting. Everything else is pretty well straightforward. I got the little backsplash that's unfinished. I'm going to run my edge on the other side. And uh, then I'll be ready to do my grout, black grout. All right. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Share, comment, like. And I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to assist and help you where I can. All right, bye for now. God bless and never give up because there's always a way. Always. Just got to figure out or find out what that way is. Bye for now. Bye.